All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, how are you? So, um, so yeah, we're out in the desert again. Pan called us, and she very clearly likes being around us, even if she doesn't want to be around us. So, uh, <laughs> let's let's see what 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 she's got for me this time. And if I have to kill anybody in the midst of a fucking sandstorm again. Oh yeah, I stole this car because my bike got stuck in a rock. <laughs> it's just fucking great. I don't care what anybody says. I haven't had that many, like, real problems with glitches. And those that I have, it's fucking hard. It's funny. Like, I'm not seeing this unplayable mess people are talking about. And I'm playing on a base level PS4. See? Alright, let's not flip the car. Let's not flip the car. And we flipped it. Oh, but we're good. Alright, Pan, where you at? I'm very surprised you guys don't have, like, portable walls. Those things exist. No. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols hey, every- you're here! What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand- You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. <laughs> this discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? So I wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. I mean, he seems that petty to me. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. <sighs> okay. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. 
That's what I said. Okay. Well, they'd probably fuck you right over. But if you got the firepower... Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the Basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. I <laughs> just ignored everything I said. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. If that's not the most American thing I've ever heard. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice. Yeah, it's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Come in your way. Almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Um... Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but... You guys? A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. All right, let's do it. Fuck it. Okay, I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? No, let's go. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. How many times are we gonna blow up shit with her? <laughs> I heard a little shake in that voice. Might you as well turn not. the wasteland into a nuclear uh, pile. Come on, did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Turn this into a race? Uh oh. What? What's going on? Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Okay, so expecting Raffin trouble? And the Raffins? What about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Makes sense. Uh, Night City won't miss life there at all. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part too. Though never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I remember that. Yeah, I don't think she would have liked him too. He was a cool dude. 
yeah, man. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like Real it big. so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Uh, did anybody know how to move it? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. All right. It's a big ass <laughs> Look at that thing. Cards. Oh shit! What does this say? Uh, just a war shard. Huh, that was quick. What? Getting inside? Talk to nomads outside. Well, I'm already in here, so I guess not. <laughs> I guess that's not gonna happen. There's it is then. Just another shard. Always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Well, that's beautiful. Okay, here we are. Uh, there you are. I'm not actually. Oh, wait. Here? Okay. Carol! What are we looking for? Box cards! What cards? All box cards, cards, holes in rows and columns. Would you help me look? Yeah. Sure thing. Not a. No. Alright, what else? Uh, in here maybe? Nothing here. I already made the rounds around here. <laughs> oh, probably not in here, but... Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Okay, it must be here somewhere. V, look thoroughly, please. Wait, that... Is that a gun? That's a gun. Why'd I just pick up a pack of condoms? <laughs> I'm trying to get the gun. Screw it. Not a... Nothing here. Maybe upstairs? No, not out here. What's that? Didn't I already look in here? Punch car. Well, well, well. Hey, Pan? Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? Which is this? Here goes nothing. It worked! Come look! There she goes. Little engine that could.
V, I wanted to speak with you. Hey, yeah, what's up? What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? I know it's important to you. I'm doing it for free, got trust issues. Because it's important to you. But, is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. <laughs> I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. <laughs> That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. All right, let's see if we can get this done. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Now, now, let's, uh... Let's keep it on the proceeding as planned part and leave the for now in the back of the memory. We go. Let's see what he says. Uh, when you need her, uh, when you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Okay. Oh, what's this? Your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? Quite some time left till dusk. <laughs> the car could use another one, Silver. The stars have emerged. We've got a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. <laughs> Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And a jack. The Scorpion. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water.
because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Okay. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Uh, can tell you I want to get some sleep. Wake me if anything happens. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah... You do? Oh dear. That means there's some major leak. <laughs> Good night, B. Not good. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? ready? Let's ride, V. Shit. Here when you are. overheated. Go, go, go! Hurry up! Smash it! Give it a It'll help me! We got it! Come on! Burn down! Take that! Position. Oh, shit! Here we go. Extremists must be eradicated.
Who's shooting at me? Okay. Go. All is planned, boss. All right, the train's leaving. You'd better move. Again? Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. <laughs> the real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Middle of a sandstorm, too. Tornado? What the hell? Oh no, what is that? Oh, we're back at the camp. Quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. Yeah. Meet me again. All you gotta do is call. B. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Okay. I gotta get my car back, so let's, uh... We wanna take a bike. Where is it coming in? Oh, right there. Oh, Jesus!
Okay. So. Wait, what's this? Oh, and waited. Okay. Let's, uh. Leave the camp and wait a day for the baskets to be ready. Um. Oh, there is a fast travel point right there. So we. Let's, uh. Let's just go home. Sleep for 24 hours. And then come back. Can I not? Okay. Since it wants me to leave the camp, do I have to use another one? Or am I just not able to fast travel in the middle of this sandstorm? I didn't even know there was going to be sandstorms in this game. But I guess it's not like, um, it, it doesn't seem like Assassin's Creed Origin. So it's not a mechanic, it's just something they programmed in, maybe? So if I, this is making me disoriented as hell. I very much like to be driving in third person. AV? been feeling all right, I hope? Of course. Why? What's up? Just calling to invite you to Joss's for dinner. I'd love it if you swung by. What do you say? Hey. Oh, shit. Did you hear about Militech's new mobile radar unit on the border? Well, it's bad for smuggling, bad for the avocados, and definitely bad for me. I want to know what makes it tick, but I need to get my hands on it first. Snatch me that radar, and I will make sure you're well compensated. Details attached. Okay, um... Oh my god, I can't... I can't select. Great to see all you guys. Prime. Our Joss will be thrilled. Sounds great. I've missed you, you know. <laughs> I can't select options. Peace, or it hasn't been that long since we last saw each other. Oh, that's true, I guess. Anyway, you'll come by, right? I'll come by, River. See you then. Okay, so. Back home. Then we'll slip. Okay. Oh, we're home at least. Oh my god. <laughs> Just everything popped in. Uh, let's go put that sniper rifle we got in the stash. Wait. That can go there. That can go there. Okay. Oh, what? You can put special weapons up there? Or does it just not fill itself up? I wonder how that works. Alright, uh. Your motel room? What? Try one more time.
So the Cthulhu, wait, what? Excuse me? Oh, it's a car. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That they just straight up named it Cthulhu. Why would you name it Cthulhu? <laughs> I just wait like a uh, that man is inside of that woman and it's not in this not in the sexual way I'm not gonna get that call all right screw it it's cool we'll just go downstairs call the car Horrific. What is that? Power port? That... Yeah, this is a corporate hellscape. Love it. Gotta love it. interrupt your journey with a question <laughs> you just did but sure ask away it's an unusual request so please forgive me how would you advise someone who wishes to learn more about human nature and form closer bonds suppose you're asking for a friend uh guess you just gotta hang around them watch listen study them hmm. study that is just the advice i required a thousand thanks for your assistance. I wish you a pleasant journey. Okay, that, that's interesting. Let's hope it doesn't turn into a situation that uh, we had with your uh, other personalities. Uh, shit, that came uh, way too... Wait, what? Hey V, thanks again for having my bag lately. Uh, just ranting, raging, appreciate it. You did it for me, shit that came out way too formal. <laughs> it's okay, How, how's it been going with Saul? It's cool, don't worry about it. How's the pants are shop shaping up? Mitch, Bob, and Carol are still putting the pieces together. Be in touch soon, okay. What's this? Let's just, what, buy a vehicle? There's two in the same area? Three? Jesus. Now let's hit this. I always like playing Hitman a little bit. Oh my god, move. What do we got? 
Let's just uh, put that away. Jotaro Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells that shit to like minded scumbags. The Mox finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this sicko attached. Okay. What's up, buddy? Can I talk to you? Um, deactivates all cameras. So what I see. Oh shit. That's not gonna help me. Shut up. I knew it. Did they, uh, did they give us a call yet? Nope. Let's go back down here like we thought. like-minded scumbags. The Mox finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this sicko attached. Hey, hey, relax. I'm gonna get it back. As if today. Get you some spot. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, maybe, uh... Try this again, maybe. Hmm. What can I get you? So I need something to distract. Because, you know, while I'm willing to go guns blazing, I'm not always wanting to go guns blazing. Okay. 
god. In, in. Making it seem like he's in there. I find Joe So we just don't know where he is. Is that him, maybe? Here's a new flavor of death, sir. Okay. Walk this corpse out of here? Oh 
shooting at me in from where? Somebody up here? Oh my god, he's just a... He's just a bloody stone! Everybody seems to have cleared out from here. Get out of here. Buddy. This is him. Somebody's alive around here, but here's hoping they won't be a problem. Stairs. Just drop his corpse. One less shithead in this city. Cream. Thanks, V. Closing the gig. Okay. Well, fuck him. He gets to stay right there. <laughs> Lynn, how you doing? again. So <laughs> I thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, Citizen of the Empire, and I'll be back in a moment.